What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On, the channel about the privilege of being a freelancer at today. The 31st of December, finally the 2020 is almost done and I hope that 2021 is going to bring us much more great and good moments. And today we're discussing uh, the proxy recording into the Sony A7S III and how to work with those proxies, not to create the proxies on your computer afterwards and waste some time. So let's go. So guys, first of all, you have to know how to turn the proxies on. You can choose from XAVC-S H.264 codec and XAVC-HS H.265 codec in 720p or Full HD. Right now I'm recording the 720p version of proxies into my Sony A7. F7 is recording the audio, the most expensive audio recorder right here. So the A7S III is recording the proxies simultaneously with the 4K25 file and then I'll be showing you how to work with those files. So where to turn the proxies on? You go to the menu, the same part where you choose the codex and the frame rate and a little bit lower you'll find the proxies, you choose the codec and then you're ready to go. You'll see a small sign which is showing that proxies are being recorded. Unfortunately, you cannot record proxies in S and Q mode and also in 4K 120, but it's okay to record the proxies in 24, 30, 60, 25, 50 FPS, and these formats and frame rates are the most used. So that is why it's a great option not to waste your time in your NLE. So now let's open the final cut and I'll show you how to work with those proxies and how to replace the proxies with the original files. So guys, I have removed my SSD, SSD card, <laughs> SD card, UHS-2 V90 card from Kingston. I do enjoy using this card. It's uh, 256 gigs and now I have my card reader. I simply plug this in or you can use your USB Type-C cable directly from the camera. It's also working nicely and you can actually download or upload or, or just, you know, move the files onto your computer even with CF Express Type A card and you don't need a card reader, it's great speed and actually it's working. So I have here my untitled one SD card. We go to private and for roots and here we have the sub folder and here are all of your actually proxy files. I have renamed a couple of proxies, but uh, actually you can just leave it as it is. So here we have the files and you can see that it's ON, Oleg Nikitin, 0, then 413S03. So the S03 means that it's a proxy file and we need to rename it so it will be exactly the same. But be careful that if you have a different name, not in order, so we have 413, 414, 415, but here you can see that we have 406, then 407, and then straightly to 413. So just keep your files in order, do not delete the files, and then you can select, let me say, till this one, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, then we hit the right uh, button, the right click of the mouse, rename, and we write exactly how it should be named. ON for my camera, for yours it may differ, for sure it's different than zero, like here, ON zero. I have renamed those files already. And then we set name and index after name. And we start with the number that we need the first file to be renamed to. And it's uh, 413. So we go to rename, 413. Rename. Mm -hmm. So we have those files right here and then we can open the final cut, import those proxy files. They're all 17 megabytes, so it's a pretty small file right here and uh, we can actually use this file to work with it. And I hope it's not 4K 120 because you cannot record 4K 120. That is why I have different uh, naming of the files. So if you record 4K 120 file, it will record, for instance, it was 413, then you recorded three files in 4K 120 and it will be 4, uh, 14, 15 and 16 in 4K. You won't see those files, so keep that in mind when renaming the files, just you know, pay attention to this. So now we need to copy those files to your SSD. It's uh, the SSD from Samsung, T51TB. We go here and I have created the testing proxies folder and we paste those items right here. 
Then we go to Final Cut. I have created the event already and the 4K project already. So we go to Import, SSD 1TB, and we choose Testing Proxies. And here we have the renamed files. So you can see those files right here. And I say leave files in place. That's important because we'll be replacing those files. But I'll, I'll tell you one more interesting thing in a little bit. And we say import files. Several files right here. That's my daughter. And now we can make some adjustments. So for instance, we can make this one slower. We can put a lot. Oh, no, 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 not this one. We can put a lot to that one. Actually, I enjoy using the Walking Dead with the Cine 4 profile. This one is going to be like so, so we can see that it's working. This one can be like so. I'm not grading like this. And this one is going to be very saturated. Very saturated. Rated. Just so we can see that it, the whole, you know, color correction and uh, slowing down and all the things and uh, maybe we have no sound here, no sound there. So all of the effects will be applied to the original media. So we have done all of the editing right here. We can trim this a little bit and this one a little bit so you can see that it's all working. And now the fun part. We go directly to the SSD 1TB. We find testing proxies, so the folder which it contains the original files, and we simply delete those files. And Final Cut will say, man, you're doing something wrong because, you know, those files are gone. So we copy the original files, 413 to 417, command C, then we go to another folder which is testing proxies original. If you go here and paste it here, you have the scale different because the, of those files were 720p and now you'll be editing the 4k footage so you'll be downscaling it to 33 percent you don't need it so that is why you paste it to the other folder Voila! As you might have noticed, this file is actually slowed down. This file is uh, the same with the, you know, uh, the light applied. This file is also working. And now you can simply go through the timeline, check if everything is okay in terms of the color, because it may vary a little, little bit, but almost all the time it's okay. And it's just like, exactly like you kind of messed around with the color before. And then you can hit uh, render and export the file and go have a, you know, your lunch or something. And it's a great way to use on such low power machines, smaller computers, so you can actually exceed the expectations and uh, edit some tough footage, which is the XAVC-S H.264 compressed codec 4K and you can hear the fans are starting to get crazy. It's a very heavy load, but you can leave your computer for half an hour, go do something else and then you'll be all right when you get back. Just be careful because renaming is key. The name has to be exactly the same, so keep an eye on it. It's much faster than creating the proxies and you can actually go right here, transcode media, Create proxy media uh, and uh, you know go there and okay and then it will be you know a pretty long process especially for 4k 50 4k 60 footage 
and uh, yeah you just save some time doing this so guys this was my small tip for you if you use the sony a7s3 you can definitely use the proxy footage with your weaker editing machines and benefit from it and actually guys happy new year i hope that 2021 is bringing much more pleasure good things good news and maybe we'll be able to travel i hope that i'm saying this not just to you know get this out to the universe but it's actually going to be happening next year so guys we'll be rocking the next year thanks so much for watching i do appreciate your views your likes your comments especially your subscription so just smash the like buttons as usual and i'll see you in my next video happy new year guys take care bye